How to use an Excel app easy tutorial for beginners. Hey guys, welcome back to the YouTube channel. Today we will be taking a look at how you can get started with the Nexo application. So let's get into it. Now, the first step that you're going to do is you're just going to head on over to your Google Play Store or to your Apple application store. Just open that up and you will simply search for Nexo. And this is the first application you will see. You will see this in the form of a ad and the top application as well. So you're simply just going to download this application. It takes a couple of seconds or it may take a few minutes for you to download and once we have downloaded this application we will get started with building our online crypto portfolio as wallet on the nexo application so we're just going to wait for this to download and it only takes a couple of minutes usually it's downloaded within a minute so now you can see our nexo application has been downloaded so i will simply go on ahead and open up the application you can see over here that it has been downloaded so i will just open this up and after that you can enter your email and password if you already have an account if you don't have an account simply click on new account over here and once you click on new account you can enter a email and a suitable password for your nexo application now after that i'm just going to log in over here like so because i have already created my nexo account previously but if you don't have one you just need to sign up with your email it's very very simple and i showed you guys exactly how you're uh, supposed to enter that field now once you have done that this will be your basic setup so first you have to set a pin for your nexo app especially because you know a lot of times people can you know, just open up your phone and you don't want people to access your binance like your financial earnings or your crypto holdings you don't want people to access that information that is why they also help you set a pin for for your nexo app now after that you can see this is going to be your dashboard now on the bottom you will see a navigation panel in this navigation panel you have your dashboard then you have your wallet then you have the different markets then you have a card so you can also order a nexo card which you can use to purchase day-to-day -day items you can use your crypto to purchase day-to-day -day items using the nexo virtual mastercard now after that you also have the nexo exchange now other than these basic settings, you also have different levels of the Nexo app. So if you click on the top left over here, then you also have loyalty levels. So in loyalty levels, you get more benefits the more you use the Nexo application or if you subscribe to a higher loyalty level, upgrade to the next one, then you will get more rewards, more cashbacks, more earnings, so on and so forth. So you can see on the base level which your account will be once you create your account it has high ltv interest rates you have although you do get earning benefits or interest rates four percent on fiat currencies and cryptocurrencies and eight percent on stable coins as well as four percent on nexo tokens but those rewards increase by 0.25 percent on the silver version then there is also the gold version of nexo there's also the platinum version of nexo so you can increase the percentage yield or interest earnings that you get with these kinds of loyalty reward points now other than that nexo primarily can function as your all-in-one wallet and new section for crypto so in your dashboard first off you have your portfolio then you have markets then you have basic news now if you want to focus on your wallet you can simply click on the wallet on the bottom and then you will be able to see all of the tokens that you hold and what amount you can search for any of the tokens that you might hold if you have like a very diverse portfolio and you're holding a bunch of different tokens you can search for the token that you're looking for to see how much you are currently holding and if you want more detailed information about a token you can just click on the token over here and this will show you the wallet earnings that you have and you also get a top-up option on the bottom so you can choose to buy your crypto directly on the wallet as well so as you guys can see over here if you click on any token of your choice let's say we click on btc so you'll be able to monitor whatever btc that you have in your actual wallet after that you can just click on the market section to see the current market price to fund your account to add more btc or top up btc then you get all the valuable statistics and if you scroll down you also get the news regarding that token so i am on the btc chart so that's why if i scroll down it shows me bitcoin news if i open up xrp and i go to the market section the xrp chart the account information all that information and if i scroll down it shows me xrp related news and in this way you can see all of the information that 
you might need for any of the tokens that you hold or tokens that you want to keep in you know you want to monitor then you also have the market section so in your market section you get to see the top movers in the 24 hours you also have the total volume you also have market cap and after that in your market section you can view all assets then you also have trending assets so these ones are the markets and you have your favorite section so if i go into all assets and let's say i want to take a look at the ape token and i want to monitor the ape token so i can click on the star on the top right over here and now if i go into my market section and i click on the star uh, you can see these are all my favorited tokens so i can monitor these tokens more closely this is going to be your watch list and you can add and remove tokens as you might feel like the tokens that you want to keep track of you can put them over here the tokens that you are not really that concerned about you can leave them as well now after that you also have your exchange section so you can convert one your crypto token from one crypto type to another for that you do need to enable two-factor authentication you can go on ahead and use google authenticator like this and once you do that you're just going to copy your authentication secret and then paste this into your google authenticator so you do need to download the authenticator over here and you can export your accounts as well and in this way you can go on ahead and authenticate your account to be able to convert your crypto tokens from one token to another token then you also have a boost 3x feature and this is uh, available in some countries however it is not available globally yet so it might be restricted in your area or it might be available depending on which country you are present in now after that if you click on your basic dashboard you can scroll down and take a look at the estimated total value of your crypto your total in your savings wallet and your total in your credit line wallet as well so this is another amazing way that you can enable to uh, keep track of all your of all your crypto holdings now to be able to use the nexo application to the fullest you do need to complete identity verification so you need to verify your email and verify your identity as well you can usually do this with just a picture of your id card or a picture of your license or anything like that to be able to you know buy and exchange crypto and store large amounts of crypto on the nexo application and it is one of the safest and easiest ways to hold your cryptocurrency especially if you have your crypto in an exchange an exchange only holds your crypto temporarily you don't have you know full ownership of your crypto when it's held by the exchange so that is why it is so essential to create your own crypto wallet and hold it in your crypto wallet plus the next application not only will serve you as a wallet but it also serves you as a all-in-one crypto platform where you can monitor prices as well as keep in track of all of the new and up-and-coming info about the tokens that you hold so that was it for today i hope you guys found this video helpful make sure to leave a like and subscribe to the youtube channel and if you have any questions or queries regarding the Nexo application or regarding any other application, then make sure to ask that in the comment box down below. I would love to help you guys out and I will catch you guys in the next video.